dickheads, Gorbo's back. And uh, so is the BPRL. It's uh, season five of our little league. And uh, it's round one in Australia. So uh, we're going to jump straight into qualifying. We um, had some troubles at the end of quali. It was like glitching out. So we had to start again. One shot quali. And uh, yep, so one shot quali was like wet as fuck. So that was pretty cool. So we've done turn one and turn two. They're all right, a bit squirrely. Down to three. We're going to go very deep as well. Get all the way on the curl on the exit. Not very good at all. But uh, one of the main things about one shot quality is you just got to keep going because uh, a lot of people bottle their lap as they go in, especially in the rain. Like no one had really driven any wet laps at all. The only wet laps I've actually ever done on this track were when we did it in USC and quality. So uh, yeah, so I was like halfway around the lap now. I was starting to remember all the breaking points I did in that quality session. So. I actually think I made that corner better than I did in your seat. But anyway, yep, yeah, um, as I say that, I almost lose it into the barrier there. But, uh, yeah, it's not been an amazing lap, but you just got to keep it consistent. As you can see, Callum's retired there, so he's already dropped it. And uh, I think, I can't actually see my dashboard, so I didn't know where I was at this point. But, uh, and there Jamie retires, so a lot of people, or a couple people, dropping out in the quali session. Uh, so... Final sector now, trying to keep the thing neat and tidy, quite nicely through the right hander there actually. And we're going to go quite deep into this corner, braked on the grass. But never mind, we're uh, just going to tidy the lap up now, finish it all off. And power on, a little slide there, and we're going to come up to the line. And Luke's already got pole with a 40.5, which is a pretty decent lap. And we've done a 43.7, so like literally three and a bit of tenths off. But somehow that's put me fourth. Not going to complain at all. So uh, we have three lights, four lights, five lights. And it's WAG1 and away we dank for season five. And already Lucas, I think he had a glitch start and so did Saban beside me. So Connor's going to hit into Luke and already I'm up into second. Challenging Sam into turn one but not really going to bother with that. I thought, well literally I just thought there was no point. But uh, yeah, but I probably could have stuck behind him a bit more. So now we've got Luke on our arse, more or less. Uh, kind of the same... On lap one in ULC, it was the same. So uh, I was thinking second place, pretty decent start. Um, I didn't know how my race pace compared to Sam because we weren't really together at all on track in ULC. I assume he was slightly quicker, but uh, Sam's not really the problem at the moment. We've got Luke all over us, and uh, yet yeah, coming into turn nine, we touch. I think I might have turned into a bit too much. Wasn't really expecting a move, and I get off a throttle in the brake, but somehow my car just gets shoved by his car into the grass, which was a bit shit, but what can you do, lol? Um, never mind, so I'm down in last place, 19 out of 19. I think Luke came into 16th, and oh well, we've almost hit the barrier there. So we almost died where we did last season, but we live to fight another day on that occasion. So not too bad, and uh, yeah, literally the worst possible outcome of the first lap. Second place, down to last. But you know what? I'm going to soldier on as Sam sets a 33.5 for the first lap. If you look at the minimap, he was absolutely checked out. There was a crash behind him in turn 11-12, as we have Callum and Josh Bond pitting. So uh, yeah, that's me up into 17th, that'll do. And uh, so yeah, Sam's checked out, he's already got like a 5-6 second lead. And uh, But to be fair, we're probably only about 10 seconds, 10-12 to 12 seconds behind seven, second place. So we still had a chance at some very decent points. We just had to be consistent, get past people at the first opportunity we had. So uh, already on to lap 2, I've caught up to Hoggy, who... Uh, He's on the soft tyres, so he's bound to be slow at this point. As uh, yeah, we're just following him through the first sector and part of the second sector. And what's going on here? Okay, so that's Simon slowing down. I think he had a lot of front wing damage, and he's gone wide onto the grass there. So not ideal for him at all. But yeah, that's a shame. Um, I think he was involved in incident in turn one as well, actually. But um, yeah, so we're up into 15th now. It's all about damage limitation at this point. And Hoggy's going to get a pretty shit run. So I'm going to just jump on his ass, get into the slipstream, get out of the slipstream, 
pretty easy move. He doesn't really fight it. So that's us up into 14. So as Sam goes and sets a 28-7, which is pretty decent pace at this point in the race, as I'm going to mute Facebook Messenger for interrupting my commentary. So, and then Jamie goes and beats that fastest lap. So, uh, yeah. Meh is the word, I think, so far. So now we're going on to lap three here. So, I no, yeah, no, no, so we were finishing lap three there. And uh, now we are on to lap, going on to lap four, and we are right behind DCXI Shadows, who is a reserve at the moment. He's filling in for one of the Renault boys who both could make it for this race. And uh, we're going to go up his inside. We're going to start accelerating on the Astro on the inside, and it's going to give him a tiny bit of a run on us. So we're going to just stick it out side by side into the braking zone. He's going to go around the outside, give me a lot of room on the inside, which is fair enough. He's going to claim four, but he's going to go very wide. And I'm going to stay left, give him an opportunity to stay side by side, but no, I've got that position sorted out. So uh, that's us into, I think that was 13. And uh, there's Sutil slowing down. I think he was pitting that lap. So nice of him to just get out of the way there, that's pretty cool. And uh, now we're on to lap eight, and a couple people have pitted. So obviously I gained track position on them. And that's us coming into the pits on the end of lap eight. I cut out the pit stop because I didn't record it. But uh, yeah, so I was onto the soft tyres. And uh, right by there, that was Carl and Connor who have just gone by. So now I am in 11th. I want to call that a net 11th place at the moment after being quite far back. But maybe it's even higher. But just be one bit. But anyway, Carl's going to have a not great run through the chicane. I'm going to cut the corner slightly, but I think he was letting me through there. Hashtag Team South. Team South. Shout out to Carl. Uh, Team South. And uh, yeah, so that's me up into 10th place. So now I'm in a point scoring position, which is pretty cool. And uh, as you can see, teammate in the pits there from behind me. Sean comes out of the pits. I think he was running quite well. He was like third or something. But uh, yeah, we're going to duck into a slipstream and make a move into turn three. He's, as I said, he's not really going to fight that one much either. So, boom, that's us in P9. Slowly making our way through the field. And Mateo has come out of the pits now, just ahead of Connor and myself. So, on these soft tyres, I had really good pace. But as you can see, in the um, in the corner, I'm having I'm only on, like, plus 0.3 laps of fuel because some dickhead, like, started the race without me being able to set my fuel so I was trying to save fuel the whole race but anyway we've got a really nice run on corner here we've got DRS and we're just going to chuck it up his inside bit of a dive bomb there but I'm going to just about make the apex got a bit wide give Connor a tiny bit of space on the outside just enough but as I said just enough room to get through which was very nice and now we're going to start lap 15 so a lap and a half later after I pass Connor and we have been running in Rich to catch Mateo. So I'm up now up into fifth place and he's in fourth. And this is around, more or less around, like this is my net position now. So there wasn't really anyone else playing a part like on other pit stops. And again, we're gonna dive up Mateo's inside. That one was much from much further back. And he, he said he knew it was coming and uh, even then I still braked very late and because I think he braked late as well so I was kind of sucked into his braking point, completely missed mine, and almost went off the track but luckily that was alright and we're going to pit this lap as Matteo was trying to fight us but obviously I was coming in so that's not a problem back onto the super soft I think ideally I wanted to go how many, how many laps am I doing? 10 laps on these I think ideally I wanted to go one more lap on the softs, but because Connor, as you can see, Connor goes past there, Connor undercut the both of us, and I didn't want him to gain too much ground on me, so that's Connor up in sixth, me in seventh. And this is Brandon, who was one stopping, like Mateo, I don't know if he worked out, but since he was on the mediums, he was one stopping. Brandon, I think he went slow for a little bit just to let people get through so he didn't have to work his tyres too much. So uh, that was a pretty simple pass. We're now trying to catch up to Connor 
and Matteo, who Connor has almost caught Matteo on the mini map. That's the two of them ahead. And Matteo is going really slow, so I can probably catch the both of them. And I've got on the grass, and boom, I've lost my front wing. Oh, well, no, I've not lost my front wing. I've lost my front wing, and I've been exited from the race. So, lol, I was just kind of laughing at this point when it happened, because I don't know, it was the first race of the season. I crashed. Never mind. And uh, on that last lap, actually, Connor and Matteo got really close. So I was hoping, like my plan was I was going to sneak through on them. It didn't quite happen. So there you go. Sam wins the race only by 1.4 seconds as Luke one stopped and was in the lead for quite a while, despite Connor's, uh, despite Sam's massive advantage. Jamie third, Matteo fourth, Connor fifth, Brandon sixth on that one stop. Eric seventh on his return debut three seasons later then his first race Sean eighth Sutter ninth and JB gets the last point in tenth so a uh, bit shit for me and Callum didn't score any points just like last season but uh, never mind we'll move on and we'll see you in Bahrain